Oh my goodness! That sounds kind of ominous! Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails! And we're here in our little cat Chickadee's den and she has just woken up this early morning dawn to the sound of howling outside? What is out there? That sounds so spooky! Oh my goodness, it's a really intense rainstorm! Okay, let's go right back inside for a second. Oh, this is so exciting. So, the dynamic weather of cattails on display right here. Oh my gosh, there's even lightning! Oh, I wonder if that's gonna scare her! Oh, I don't think Chickadee would really enjoy this. Scout, what should we do? Huh? Did you need something? Oh my gosh! The lightning is so intense, it's amazing! You look like you're pretty busy today. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. Take care out there. Scout, it's so spooky. How do you cope with all of this rain? This is this is absolutely ridiculous. I wonder if we go inside and we let Chickadee just like, oh, no, we only have one butterfly. I was gonna let her organize her butterfly collection, but it appears we need to go out and get more butterflies. So what do you do on days when the weather is like this? How are we going to be able to find any prey or, hmm, I wonder if there may be somewhere out there in the world we might be able to go and explore that would let us stay out of the elements. Hmm. I think we might have to go and explore a little bit to our north, you guys, because I've heard rumor of some caves. And I think it would be really fun to be able to go and explore inside of some caves. So we're going to take Chickadee and we're going to look for those cave systems today. We're going to go ahead and we're going to eat a little dove to be able to start our morning. We've got one whole mouse tucked somewhere in our fur. And we are going to go and try to run away from all of this rain and have quite the adventure today, searching for treasure so that we can trade the treasure to Ember in exchange for Muse, and with those Muse, eventually make Chickadee look just like the little birdie that I think Chickadee would mimic, with lots of gray and black fur, since the pelt colors are one of the main things that you can really work towards unlocking here in Cattails. Oh gosh, but for now we're just gonna run through the rain. Oh, I really- oh, there's a whole frog. At least there's a frog that we could possibly eat here. All right, no, we got too close. Darn. And there's a dove. Oh my gosh, I wonder if the hunting changes depending on- Yay! We got the dove! If the hunting changes depending on what the weather is like. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's keep going. The other cats have told me rumors that there may be something to the north. So we're going to go and explore up there. I think Chickadee is quite nervous. Oh, there's a whole squirrel. As opposed to half a squirrel. Yes, got it. All right. And we're doing so much better at hunting too. <gasps> Look, and there's more marigold. It's so fun to be able to memorize where these grow so that we can go and collect from them. All right, wait for this. No, I missed the bunny. Oh, there's another bunny. I love how the prey animals come in different colors too, different coat patterns. It really makes it very interesting. All right, I wonder if some of the cats would prefer like prey that has one color versus the other. Like if they like to save little tufts of fur to decorate their den with or something like that. Can we go up here? Look at this, Canyon Creek. Wow, there's just so much to explore already. I am so excited. And there's little lamps all over the place. I wonder if that means you ever have like humans wander by. Tomb Creek? That sounds kind of ominous. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, swimming's a lot harder than you think it would be. But now that we've made it to the other side. Oh wow, it's a graveyard? Okay, maybe we don't want to be in a graveyard. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't think we want to be in a graveyard in the middle of a rainstorm. This may be somewhere that we want to uh, we want to leave pretty soon. Let's try getting this dove. Darn, I miss the dove. And let's run down here. Okay, let's try let's try going this direction instead. But this is so cool. There's just so much to explore. And this is only just a tiny piece of the map. All right, so we're gonna see if we can find the cave system that I have heard those rumors of and get Chickadee out of the rain, but still be able to have something to do with our day. Whoa, some of this area is so pretty. What is this? <gasps> Cherry blossoms! Oh my gosh. And a different kind of lamp. I wonder what this is about. You guys, look! Look! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Wow! Glowing mushrooms! You guys, glowing mushrooms and lamps! This is amazing! And crystals! This is so pretty! Oh my gosh, I wonder if you could dig stuff up here occasionally. That would be so fun. Look at the dripping water. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. I wonder what we can find here. Wow, 
Wow. Oh, this is so pretty. There's even little piles of treasure. This is adorable. <laughs> this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. I wonder, can you imagine if we're able to make our own colonies, if that is going to be unlocked in Cattails for the Kickstarter? Can you imagine having a like pirate cat colony where you could just have them take over this area and you could have meetings under this mysterious lamp? You could summon your, your cat group with you and you could plan on going and defending your territory. This is so pretty. I wish I could collect up these mushrooms and take them back to decorate my den. Because they're just adorable. I love it. Oh, this is lovely. <gasps> There's a mouse! There's prey here! Yay! Alright! So we can do a little bit of hunting while we're inside of the cave system. I just need to look very carefully because it's a bit harder to see when you're in the dark like this. But at least there was a little bit of food already. Very nice. And I'm really excited for when things progress and we'll be able to see um, all of the cats. So there's going to be like so many different types of cats. Yay, a bridge! That's a lot safer. Oh, what's this? They'll just be wandering around. <gasps> raspberries! We found- oh gosh, we found some raspberries, you guys. Okay, let's keep running back home. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. It's getting to be evening. We're probably drenched, but we did manage to find quite a few new things today. Oh, there's another squirrel. Can I catch it? Oh, I forgot to jump. Oh, probably because I'm hungry. I don't think I can jump because I'm too hungry. All right, let's go ahead and eat one of the squirrels that I caught earlier. Yay! So I'll have, have a, a little mouse. There we go. So I'll have enough energy to be able to keep moving. And it's a little harder. Oh, okay, so we're back at the fairy wood. That means we're almost back home. But it is a little bit harder to be able to have the energy to um, hunt and collect up all of the different items that we need. Oh, there we go. Oh, so close. And there's another bird over here. Okay, let's try again. Oh, so close. I think I need to be just a little bit closer to be able to hunt them. But we're going to have to work really hard to be able to convince Ember to give us that pelt so that we can really establish ourselves as the wild forest cat I dream of. Yes! All right, we got the dove. And let's roam back over here. I wonder if eventually you can take on a little quest, like with the other cats to gain more experience a little faster. That would be fun too. All right, so we're gonna visit the shop and we're gonna sell some items. Even though it's so spooky. <laughs> it's so spooky, how are we supposed to cope with this? All right, we're gonna sell, um, how about the black hair? Ooh, the bunnies are worth a lot. <gasps> and the doves are worth so much too. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna sell those. And we're a little bit closer, you guys. Look at that. We're at 77 Muse now. And we're getting closer and closer to being able to unlock that beautiful coat. That, oh, and let's just get out of this rain. Oh my goodness. To unlock that beautiful coat that we really want to be able to give Chickadee. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. And I love our little den. Oh, but I don't think Chickadee is a rain cat, that's for sure. Chickadee is a beautiful music and all of the yummy smelling licorice and valerian and butterfly kind of cat. So let's go see if we can find some more butterflies and let's go back up to the north you guys. That was really fun to be able to patrol towards those top edges. Oh look and there's some valerian. Let's go collect up that valerian as well. But it's really nice to be able to patrol up to those top edges and just explore almost ah so far and explore and see what happens to be just up to the north. And we did run into an aggressive cat once. I need to remember that. That was that was pretty intense. Oh, dang it. Let's see if I can chase that prey down. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. Come here, little mouse. Oh gosh, I'm just not getting close enough. I'll have to work a little bit harder. All right, and there we go. We have some golden seal. I think I called it Valerian root by accident just a second ago. Sorry about that. And here's a little mouse, so let's see about pouncing on the mouse. Yes! Alright! I'm sorry, little mouse. I just, I need the food. Oh, and where are we now? Oh, this is so enchanting. We wandered over here like the first day, I remember. It's just so pretty. I really love seeing the little forest. Oh, like the little, the little gardens just that are randomly scattered through the forest. Alright, let's go this way. Look at the flower field. Isn't it pretty? I wonder if there's going to be, oh, there's a little mouse, like bees and other things that will roam on by. Yes, got him. I'm sorry, little mouse. Oh, it's a field mouse. I wonder if the field mouse is different 
Normal mouse, normal mouse, and field mouse. A dead field mouse, he would make a tasty little treat. Interesting, interesting. So the different mice may actually possibly act as different kind of gifts to the other cats. And I do want to give the other cats gifts, but I feel like getting our coat so that we're able to have our beautiful gray coat is kind of like Chickadee's way of trying to prove herself in the wild. What's this, you guys? Oh, it's so pretty. We got catnip. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that would do. I kind of want to try eating it. Um, an, in an irresistible smelling herb. Oh, it can be sold for a hef hefty sum. Guys, we may have just found the treasure. We may have just found the perfect treasure to be able to sell to Ember and get tons and tons of news so we can have our new coat. Oh, that's so exciting. I knew we would find some treasure somewhere in the forest. We just had to look hard enough. All right, let's see if we can get this mouse. Oh, I needed to be just a little closer. I wasn't giving it quite as much um, sneak as I needed. Oh, and here is some licorice. Oh, it's so exciting to be able to get a little bit of experience for that too. All of the collecting we're doing. I wish we could do a little bit more swimming. Come on, there we go. Look, a butterfly. Yes. All right, let's get it. There you go, little butterfly. Come here, painted butterfly, which we can give away as a really good gift to a lot of the other cats. Oh, and there's a frog or a toad. Look at him, look at him, thinking he's gonna get away from me. Nope, oh, I couldn't jump into the water. Oh, one day, maybe if, oh, abandoned cottage, what? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Look, there's a whole bunch of raspberries over here too. Wow, there is so much to explore. I wonder if all of the forest will change during each season because that's kind of what life in the wild is like just constantly shifting and changing and there's new things yes I finally got a fish <laughs> and there's new things to find and new things to discover that's what enchants me so much about going hiking in the woods is being able to find something new pretty much every time I go oh wow so the abandoned cottage is just to the south or just to the north excuse me of the forest colony I wonder if the forest colony ancestor cats were descended from cats who were left over from a, from the abandoned cottage who may have been, you know, they may have belonged to members of, of the family, people who lived there. And then the people either passed away or moved away and the cats just formed this awesome colony. That's so much fun. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to eat my mice. And then we're gonna go ahead and try selling some of the awesome things we've collected today because we're getting a little bit closer. Oh, it's so cute. Raspberries, tons of raspberries and licorice and lots and lots of golden seal. And we have the field mouse and we have the trout and the trout is worth three and the catnip. <gasps> Look how much the catnip is worth. Finally, we have found glory and we can sell that. Look at that, you guys. We're so close. We're going to be able to get to Chickadee's coat color in no time at this rate. I'm so excited. Oh, Mayor, this is going to be awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, there's another painted butterfly. Run, run, Chickadee. I wish there was like a dash I could give her so she could really, really run after things. Come on, come back here, butterfly. Pardon me, Scout. Oh, I got it. Yes. All right, let's talk to Scout and let's give him one of our butterflies because we just caught it by jumping right over him. So that seems fair. Hope you don't mind if I'm a bit chatty today. My job gets kind of lonely sometimes, so I appreciate the company. What's the farthest you've ever been from the borders? It's a dangerous world out there. Better make sure that you sneak like a champion if you want to hang out out there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's give him this. And give the painted butterfly. There we go. So it's not the thing. He doesn't get like super excited about it, but it's not bad either. All right, we can wander into our den. I'm going to grab the painted butterfly. Oh, this is so fun! And drop. Ah, oh, there we go. A nice little collection that we've gotten started over here. And now we know to go and search the world for catnip. And if we sell that catnip, it is worth so many mews. So many mews. The more mews we get, the sooner we will be able to make chickadee. The chickadee coloring gray and black with little splotches of white that I really dream for her. So I'm super excited to be able to do that, you guys. And we just keep finding so much more to discover. And like the raspberries and the catnip, we just are stumbling on 
more and more and more, even when I think we have kind of uh, tumbled over the whole world. So we're going to keep working on that and hopefully working on getting our swimming and other skills up to test them all out in preparation for just enjoying the lovely world and getting a taste of what our adventures in cattails will one day be like. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope that all of the music and just the beautiful artwork and the setting puts you at ease, gets your imagination going, and we will continue doing more exploring with Chickadee next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.